I wanted to become a teacher because I've always had amazing teachers that really enriched my learning and my perception and my love of education and I wanted to give a little bit of that back. I became a teacher because I, I like working with the youth. Um, I really like math and science and I like seeing um, the students grow and you know sort of coaching them along in that mental role. Once I actually reached the classroom and I actually got into the classroom I realised that this is actually for me just working with students, learning from them and just really enjoying my time. I chose the teaching profession because I see the children are the future and I believe that, that any minor difference that I can make in one child's life can be a massive difference in the long run. I guess seeing the look in a child's eye when they have that light bulb moment is just, to me, it's, it's magic. So if I can influence that and if I can make a, a difference to that, to me, that's a real driver for me um, in teaching. I've really found um, a meaning to everything that I did every day. Teaching is hard, teaching is exhausting. It's been a very difficult few weeks for me, but um, bottom line is I feel like my life now has a purpose and I have a calling um, and that's just awesome. I always wanted to uh, pass on my experience um, just so students could have fun at school and enjoy their learning and also set them up for their futures. I've really enjoyed it. I've learned a lot. And also just speaking to other beginning teachers, it's nice to know that you know, you're not the only one that's feeling overwhelmed at times. Today's been really informative. It's really good to see how many new teachers there are, but how we can support each other and the different resources the diocese provides for us. I've learnt a lot about being a Catholic and how to integrate that into um, my teaching. But also just to have that professional development, which can further guide us and assist us in having the tools that we need for teaching. The first four weeks of school have been full on, I won't lie. Um, there's been a lot of challenges along the way, but I guess now, with the support of those around me, I've been able to, to grow as a teacher. I've got quite a number of vulnerable students in my class and quite a number of high achievers. And just to see the growth in all areas has been amazing. I had one student who had really high absenteeism and he hasn't missed a day of school yet. So that's been really nice. Before I came into teaching, I sort of knew about the paperwork and um, the hard work behind actually teaching a class. Um, but I also had expectations of getting involved in co-curricular activities, through, so through sport, through charity drives, and just through all sorts of things um, we can do in a Catholic school. You know, with a bunch of 30 kids, you know, there's things that come up that's not, not expected, and so learning and adjusting, that's probably been the, the biggest challenge, as well as, you know, finding time to plan and mark formatives and, and do all that sort of thing. The amount of work that goes into every lesson to make sure that we're challenging those students who are high achieving students and then we're helping the lower achieving students build their abilities because no one should be left behind regardless of where they're at. Finding it difficult to manage the time that I have outside of school and focusing on myself and you know regenerating and rejuvenating and everything to then bring that back into the classroom. I think that exhaustion sometimes flows through into the classroom and it affects the kids and I think that's one of the challenges that I've faced. My AP, Michael Whitten, um, my head teacher um, have all been really supportive in me in my teaching and learning journey. Um, just having someone to talk to and be able to approach when I have any issues or any questions. My school's been really supportive so far. This week we've had all our SLNP data due and the principal of the school actually came to see me on Wednesday and asked how I was going. I think he could tell I was a little bit stressed so he actually came up and took my class for an hour to give me some release time to get some of that data done and just all the staff members are always coming up and checking up on me and giving me ideas and showing me resources. They've been so wonderful. I've been really blessed with a school that is so supportive. The first day and the first afternoon, one of the teachers came up to me and goes, here's my number. If you have any questions or anything that you'd like to ask, feel free to text me, I'm gonna be there. My success as a date um, in this short, really early career um, has been the boys actually going out of their way and um, telling you, sir, you've actually made an impact in that lesson. Me being Catholic and working at a Catholic school has meant that I can really share um, who I am with the students, with the teachers, with the community and the values that I hold dear. Uh, to me, being a teacher in a Catholic school is special because um, we're in a rare position where we have the privilege of communicating the messages of Jesus Christ. Our teachers here in the beginning teacher days really seem to have a sense of that, that Catholic education is oriented to that goal of 
developing that relationship with Jesus and ourselves and with our students. Pope Francis is always telling us about that, that the best teachers are witnesses, those who really live what they're teaching and what they're saying. Oh, they're a terrific opportunity for beginning teachers to come together and it's a way for us to offer ongoing support to them in their work. It's also a really good way for them to be able to network with one another across the K-12 perspective. First of all, it's being a good teacher in the learning spaces that we have and getting an understanding of what that might even look like across the diocese. And secondly, it's about the person who they are and what they bring um, to the important educational agenda. It actually says that we value them. As a system, we value them, uh, that we're going to invest in supporting them in their early stage of their career. And it also helps them understand that they're part of a a bigger picture. They're not just part of their school community, they're part of a much wider community. Education needs to be inspired and I think going into the future education really needs to make a difference in young people's lives and I think beginning teachers are in such a, an ideal position to be able to bring this to children and to children as they grow into adults. They've come into a diocese that focuses on each child. And that in and of itself can be quite overwhelming and when we speak about in our context diversity is the norm and we really believe it, the challenge is always how do you live that? You might believe it, but how do you actually live it in your own teaching? I just feel so hope-filled when I meet the young teachers that come to these days. I've been teaching a really long time and uh, I guess it's really fantastic to know that probably when I retire sometime soon that the profession is in a really good place, that we have so many dedicated professional young people with energy and commitment who want to be the best teachers that they can be.